All right, this is 1374 Lock Breeze. Looks like it's got some recent renovations done to it, which is nice. Uh, roof's in good shape. Here's the neighborhood. It is on the cul-de-sac, which is always a good spot to be. This is a four, two and a half bath listed at 289.9, been on the market for three days. Little walk in the front door here. Nice entranceway. Nice updated chandelier here. A little brick tile work here. You come in the main house. It's got your living. Your kitchen's over here to the left. You have a half bath. You have this little bonus space. This could be an office, a den, a little family room or playroom for the kids. It's got the nice spot there for a TV and gaming, anything like that. This tile that looks like wood. Uh, let's shoot around this way. So half bath right off the kitchen in the main entrance so you don't have to go upstairs for the restroom. Kitchen, appliances, white appliances. Um, cabinets look original, countertops look pretty original. Uh, appliances look like they've been replaced more recently, maybe even new, um, as far as the stove and the microwave and dishwasher. You have an eat-in space here. You have a good size pantry. Try to focus. And come around this way. Uh oh. There we go. Had to get it to refocus for you. A living space here. Could be a formal dining. Um, could be just actual like family living room here. Let's go back into this corner. So you'd have an island. This wall could probably be removed if you wanted it or a portion of it to make it more open. Um, doesn't look load bearing. Let's go outside real quick because we're already here. Nice big covered lanai with a fan. Come over to the pool area. It sits on conservation behind you, so that's nice. Big deck area for the pool. Screened in. Pool seems to be in pretty good shape. It's running now. This needs a quick little vacuum and brush up, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can go back here and not fall in the pool. Got good space for a table and everything. Has a pool bath door here. I'll show you. That's the master. And I'll show you inside what um, how that works out. Come around from the kitchen, you got the, the main living space. There's the front door, stairs. You have storage underneath there. And that first door, the second door is the garage. Come down the hall here, and this is the master on the first floor. It's tiled. Large volume ceiling here. And big walk-in closet. So you got the dual racks on this side, single rack on that side. Still very nice. Goes up. Oh, it's losing some focus. There we go. Goes back. And you have dual doors here for the for the master bath. You have the standalone shower, big garden tub. Dual vanity. You have, this is the pool door that I was mentioning, but you can also close it off to separate it out. If you don't want folks into your master bath, you have a linen closet back here. Let's go around this way. 
The laundry is just off of the master here. It also has access through to the garage. So indoor laundry. Washer dryer hookup. Here's your garage space. So there's the door off the front, right by the front door. Lots of light, irrigation hookup. AC and water heater seem to be new or newer. Um, there's the new carpet that's upstairs, some of the laminate flooring that's upstairs. So it's not in bad shape overall. It uh, seems to be in pretty good, good shape. Oh, I missed this before. More storage underneath. In the laundry room here. Go around this way. Oh, you also have a linen closet off of the between the master and the laundry room for more storage. So let's go upstairs. This carpet's not in bad shape. I just don't think it's been replaced recently. The bedrooms seem to all have been replaced, all the, all the flooring in there. So you get to the top of the stairs, you have a little landing here. You have a bathroom, dual sink, which is nice, and a separate area for the toilet and the shower and tub. Again, that's nice so people can still be getting ready while someone else is taking a shower or getting ready there. And then let's go. Two bedrooms on this side. This one they put laminate flooring in. It's a good size bedroom. Probably 11 by 12, 12 by 12, somewhere in this range. So it's good size, it's not your standard 10 by 10. Little fan there, closet. You walk across the hall. This has new carpet. It's got a walk-in closet. That's a big side bedroom again. So it feels bigger than that last one we were just in. High rack there, so you could add a second rack lower. But good space here. Let's walk around to the other bedroom. So here's your overlooking. Got some birds outside going crazy. So I'm looking over the pool. And then here's your fourth bedroom upstairs. Got another walk-in closet. So the house is nice. Overall, it's, uh, it's in good shape. They've done some renovations to it, so that's nice. Um, Pricing, I think, is good for, for the area. Um, obviously, I'll run comps and everything to ensure what we think. But it's a, overall a nice home and ready to move in. So let me know what you think. Thanks.